Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Back in 1999, at the height of the dot-com boom, NBC launched a new television series that was created by screenwriter Aaron Sorkin. The show had a stellar cast, including film legend Martin Sheen as the President of the United States. It also starred Moira Kelly as Mandy Hampton, the media consultant for the President's administration. After that first season ended, her character abruptly disappeared and was never seen on the show again. In this video, I'm going to look back at Moira Kelly's career leading up to her stint on The West Wing, also discuss what led to her abrupt departure from the show, and what she's been doing more recently. Now while not her first movie, the first thing I ever saw her in was the 1992 film The Cutting Edge, in which she starred along with D.B. Sweeney. Now in that film, she played a figure skater who was forced to work with a hockey skater turned figure skater in pursuit of an Olympic gold medal as a figure skating pairs team. That same year, she would appear in the Richard Attenborough directed film Chaplin as Hetty Kelly, the first love of Charlie Chaplin. A couple of years later, she starred alongside Academy Award winning actor Joe Pesci in the film With Honors a movie about a group of Harvard students who are roommates that end up taking care of a homeless man in return for a lost thesis paper. Now also in 1994, she provided the voice for Nala in the Disney animated classic The Lion King. She would reprise this role again in the 1998 release of The Lion King 2 Simba's Pride, which was released straight to video. And then in 1999, Aaron Sorkin the man behind such movies as A Few Good Men and The American President would create a new television series called The West Wing, a political drama set primarily in the West Wing of the White House during the fictitious Democratic administration of President Bartlett. Moira Kelly was cast as Mandy Hampton, the ex-girlfriend of Deputy Chief of Staff Josh Lyman, played by Bradley Whitford, who was contracted by the Bartlett administration to be their media consultant. Now, The West Wing had solid results in its debut season, finishing 27th in the Nelson ratings. Now, as the show's second season started, there was a noticeable casting change. Moira Kelly was no longer on the show as the character of Mandy Hampton. The character just sort of disappeared. In fact, fans of the show would come to use the phrase, going to Mandyville, as a euphemism for characters who would drop off the show's radar for no particular reason. Now apparently, according to Aaron Sorkin, he just realized that the character didn't gel with the show and by mutual agreement, she was let go after the first season. He would go on to say that Moira is a tremendous actress and it was his failing alone that her character didn't work out. I totally agree. Moira really is a tremendous actress and has stayed busy to this day. In fact, it wasn't long after West Wing that she landed the role of a single mother, Karen Rowe, on the teen drama One Tree Hill, a role that she would have for the first six seasons of the show. And most recently, she has been in the Amazon original series, Panic. The show follows a small town of Carp, Texas, where graduating seniors carry on a tradition of playing a game full of fear-inducing challenges that pay out enormous cash prizes. Now, Moira plays Melanie Cortez, the sheriff's wife, who is still grieving the death of her son. Now here's another picture of Moira Kelly from the 1994 film With Honors. Now what was your favorite movie or TV show that Moira Kelly was in and what are your thoughts on Moira Kelly's career as an actress? She's definitely been in a lot of films and television shows during her 30 year career. Now I look forward to reading your comments. Also, I would greatly appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to my channel where I talk about the music, TV shows, and movies that I loved while growing up in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe out there and have a great day.